Hello Megalithomaniacs, how are you? We're now a very interesting site called Hochob. Now this is halfway really between the Rio Beck area and like Merida and the Yucatan. Um, it's part of the Rio Beck kind of style, but it's actually more Chenis style. This whole area around here is the Chenis style. Now this is like in between really the Petan, Rio Beck and Yucatan Maya. But what we have here is some remarkable 3D relief carving in, in solid stone. Also, they had um, lots of stucco here as well, and it shows you the earth monster, and many other features we'll have a close look at. It's also got small pyramids here, much in the style really of Tulum, or even, even quite one of them is like a, a replica, almost a smaller replica of one of the very tall, thin Tikal pyramids. Now there's a few other sites around here like Tabasquero we're going to have a look at although it's closed we're going to get some aerial shots and we've got Tokok which is near the town we're staying in Holpelchan and there's a few other places but this is really the one we wanted to look at and we, we didn't even know if it would be open because it's during Covid season. Zero people here so let's have a closer look. Hochob means corn cob storage area and we know it dates between 600 and 900 AD uh, and it's strangely it's arranged on a northeast southwest axis about 32 degrees east of north which I find quite intriguing. It was first settled here around 400 BC according to ceramic evidence. So this is the classic Chenes style decoration. We saw a similar thing at Hormiguero and that had a slightly different style, that's Rio Beck style. Uh, you see crossed eyes, you see at the top there above the door, they're like kind of crossed eyes. So this is again, this is an Olmec feature. We actually find on some of the Olmec heads and, and other statues where the eyes are kind of crossed going inwards. Um, it has three rooms within it and this is kind of called the palace, although it's also officially structure one. The space between the eyebrows is interesting. There's nothing there now. It would have had designs and styles. And on the image, I'll show you now, almost looks like it was kind of frowning, like a kind of Olmec style piece. So we have like, it looks like the eyes are on top, the nose is missing, or even the doorway could be the mouth, like entering the kind of the earth monster. And so there's a small platform which serves as access to within. Uh, there's decorated hooks, or there could be teeth. Um, and a lower jawbone of its mana, oh, and he's one of the you know great gods of the ancient Maya. This created god was found open mouth and in a crouching position, uh, and you can still see kind of elements of that in the design. So there's a lot going on here, but let's go and have a closer look. But before that, actually, you can see these protruding parts here. These are almost like kind of claws coming out from the bottom, like the base platform. Then we have kind of water design there. We have almost like a T shape here, something JJ's been looking at. We have curved corners on the base. We have one of the rooms over here, kind of on the left. And you see, this is actually a decorated slab just at the top here as well. It's got beautiful 3D relief carving on it. And the construction continued into the rubble there. And this is it just from the side. But let's walk up these steps. Have a closer look you can see some of the detail here we've got the cross design obviously going up much going on on the right hand side there there's a lizard running inside there there's so much going on here but this is basically like the earth monster but it's also it's armor it's also chark the rain god it's got elements of that within it um and this is just one of the most impressive pieces like this I've seen. It's, it's much easier to read, to see than Hormiguero. Hormiguero has kind of got a lot of this gray on it. That's the main doorway going into the sacred room. And obviously the kind of eyes, the cross eyes above it, which are actually spirals. And we have a similar motifs kind of mirrored over here. But what we do have on this side is this. Now this isn't on the left hand side, it's being kind of demolished, sort of taken down. But we can see it here. Again, this is like Hormiguero. Just show you, I love this. It's very psychedelic to me. This has got a very psychedelic edge. This could be kind of part of the shamanic kind of architectural tradition where they would bring these shamanic psychedelic elements actually into their building style, not just into their artwork and tattoos, but actually into the building style itself. I think that was part of the geomantic kind of nature of 
some of the Mayan civilizations here in Mexico. So we're standing right outside the doorway. Uh, and you can actually see that right behind me here up on the platform. You can kind of go inside. You can't go right inside the room. They've got a mesh up there. And it's absolutely amazing. I'm absolutely blown away by this. So it's very small. It's open till three o'clock at the moment, usually open till five. And a classic example of the Chena style here in this part of Mexico. We have these protrusions, these kind of fangs, claws type things coming out, it's the best way to describe them, which are part of the Chak tradition, the kind of water and rain god. the small pyramids here at Ho Chop. And you can see again, like, it's similar to the Rio Beck, you have these kind of fake steps kind of going up. But on top, you have these protrusions coming out. We see similar stuff at Zibble Chow Town, Chichen Itza. And on the very top, I'll just get back. You can see like a, a kind of, can you see that? It's like a, kind of tower. Now, the interesting thing about this, we do find these towers at some sites. We, we have one at Tab Tabasquero, we have one at this lost site we're gonna try and find. Uh, and these all align just a few degrees east of north. So this is one of those towers that links up across the landscape, suggesting these could be not just astronomical kind of pyramids, but geodetic, like geomancy. They're kind of creating these on specific points in the landscape, probably to map out the entire system. We have another pyramid structure there, which is like a mini Tikal. And then we have the, the great kind of freeze earth monster behind those trees there. So you can climb up a little way up this pyramid, but not too far, they kind of made it so you can't get all the way to the top. Kind of protects it. You see the sun shining in from the other side. Now we're just heading out of the site here, down this path. I don't know where this goes exactly, but I know, as you can see here with all this rubble, that all the residences and other structures were built kind of in the hillside. They were like in terraces within the hillside. So we see examples here. See all the broken stone down there. And there's a little pathway, like a mini sack bay heading up to the site. But let's just see if there's anything down here. No, there isn't. But this is one of the sort of outer platforms where residences and other such things would have been constructed. This is just the side of that building. Well, actually, let's go around the back, see if there's anything there. Yeah, so this is like the back of the main frieze, the kind of main structure one here, or the palace. You can see even the back has been very neatly done. It's not just rough hewn, this is neat and tidy. Goes all the way up there, very neat stonework. We find that in the Chenas and the Rio Beck style. It's got nice ridges coming out from it. You've got this kind of, almost like a window going along here. Isn't that amazing? And you can't, you're not even going to see this. This is like facing out into the nothingness, into the residential area. And yet they still make it precise and perfect and beautiful. It's a very Mayan thing to do. Everything you look at looks good. We'll just go around the front again. 
I'll just walk up from this side to get a sense of the site. You see the cobbled roof in the room on the right here. Now, officially, you can't go in there, prohibito. But let's have a quick look. So, you see the cobbled roof going around. It looks a bit rough on the inside, but there would have been stucco and carvings and everything else in here. But this is not rough. Look at this beauty. Beauty and design, absolutely stunning. You see kind of random pieces like this lying around. Kind of megalithic. Just outside the front of the main structure. We're now just leaving Ho Chob. This is an amazing place. Some beautiful steps they've made to come up here as well. And yeah, if you're in this area, if you're visiting Tabasquero or any of the other sites, it's sort of halfway between uh, the Rio Beck area and Merida. There's some whole bunch of them here. Extampak, uh, there's Tokok near the main town, Holpochan, I think that's how you say it. And this is one of the best. It's beautiful. It's only like 60 or 45 pesos to get in. Another 45 to actually film here. So hope you enjoyed our journey here. And uh, we're going to continue now to some more sites. So please subscribe. Please click the bell icon. Become a patron. We really appreciate you watching our videos and supporting us. I'll see you next time, Megalithomaniacs. <laughs> <laughs>